Glowing Moss is a brand new type of ground spawn in the Animal Crossing New Horizons 2.0 update. Believe it or not, but there are a total of 23 brand new DIYs to craft using these new glowing mosses. Let's teach you everything you need to know about them. What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys another awesome Animal Crossing tips and tricks tutorial video. Today's video is showcasing everything you need to know about the glowing moss items. You may think that it's just a little item on the ground on a brand new island. No, but you got 23 very awesome DIY recipes and items that go along with it. Not only are we going to show you the DIY recipes, we're going to show you exactly how to get glowy moss, we'll show you exactly how to get the DIYs, we'll then take a look at what all of the items are, we'll show you the customization options, and then I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like on the interior of your house, and much, much more. It's an awesome episode, so thanks so much for watching, and if you didn't already, check out the channel, we've got tons happening over here, so thank you for hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. As as usual right over here tips and tricks tutorial is blowing up we got so much happening such as a gyroid hunt we went and did an entire live stream of the 2.0 update we're teaching you guys how to be perfect farmers showing you guys all of the animal crossing very very cool updates with new songs you name it it's there so definitely take a look at the playlist and while you're at it please do me a favor and help our awesome plushy launch. Look at this beautiful boy. You need him in your life. He's the cutest thing. Anyway, uh, our plush ends on the 19 days from now. Wow, that's great. On the 25th of November. So make sure you guys are on board with that. Get your plushy. We've got a goal of hitting 500 and I would love all the help and support for it. We're at 235 sold. So thanks so much for supporting the plushie. All right, that being said, let's jump into the tutorial. So the first thing that we're going to teach you guys about is how to get the glowing moss. Now you can see they're all over the floor over here, but they're only available in two different areas within the game. If you've purchased the Happy Home Paradise DLC, you have access to an unlimited amount of them. It is so great. So that being said, while you're in the archipelago, by flying all the way over to there, going to the dodo, saying that you want to go to work. The very top tier of the back area has tons of the moss available. And with that being said, you can easily go ahead and line your pockets to the brim with all sorts of glowing moss. I love it. I absolutely do. It's all over the place and it looks really, really fun to walk through. Now, in case you guys don't have the DLC and you're not planning on getting it, that's okay. You're not locked out of getting the moss. You're just going to have to try your luck with Cap'n's Islands. Now, going over to Cap'n is going to be a full process in and of itself, so make sure that you guys have the prerequisites involved with that. So go over to your dock, find Cap'n, um, and then give him 1,000 Nook Miles. Once you give him 1,000 Nook Miles, you'll then be able to travel to some random islands. There's over 20 different islands, and some of them will have the moss on there. So, taking a look at it, Keep on trying. If you don't get it, then try try again. You'll be able to get a good handful of moss by doing so. Now that you guys know how to get your hands on the glowing moss within the game, let's teach you guys exactly how to get the DIYs. Now, every single one of these DIYs will be available on those random Cap'n Islands. Go to Cap'n, like we talked about in the previous one. Make sure you completely grab every single moss that's on the floor, and then while you're at it, scan the shores for one singular bottle. You're only going to be able to get one bottle per trip with Cap'n. So it's going to be a long haul, but you'll definitely be able to get them. So now that you know exactly how to get the glowing moss and how to get the DIY recipes, let's give you guys an item showcase of what is exactly available in the 23 items here. I'm so excited for this one because these items are legit and the developers actually took the extra time to make them interactable. So that being said, jumping on into it right over here, the very first thing that we're going to show you is the cave. Ooh, it looks pretty spooky. Unfortunately, you cannot enter it, but it is pretty big and it looks awesome. You're going to also use vines for this one too. Next up is going to be the very awesome glowing moss pond. Now, what's cool about this thing is that you can actually use it uh, by pressing the A button. Just by pressing the A button on there, it activates in a very, very cool fashion. I absolutely love it. Next up over here is the Glowing Moss statue. And I'm going to stand right next to it just to show you that, yes, you can absolutely press the A button on it. 
and it legit glows its eyeballs every time you press it, it pulsates. That's so, so fun. Next up is the Glowing Moss Jar Shelves. Easy, I mean, you got some shelves over here in case you wanna do like a little science lab, that's another prop for you. All right, next up over here is going to be none other than a very cool looking Glowing Moss Balloon. Yeah, and you can indeed press the A button on it in order to activate it. Wow, fun. Next up is going to be the Suspicious Cauldron. Oh, man. So, yeah, speaking of like Halloween Islands and Fairy Core Islands, this is really cool. So you press the A button on it and it poofs a little green cloud of smoke. Uh, next up, right over this way, is going to be the Glowing Moss Stool. Nothing special about it other than the fact that you can sit down on it. And as you sit down on it, it does have some of the glowing effects on there. So that is actually kind of cool. All right, next up over here is going to be the Glowing Moss Boulder. The boulder is activatable. You can activate it by pressing the A button on there, and you'll be able to get all the very awesome glowing effects. Next up is going to be the Glowing Moss Jar. It's uh, just a jar filled with glowing moss. Okay, super fun. All right, we've got some apparel items over here in case you want to be a, I don't know, glowing moss person. Uh, you can see over here that we do have the glowing moss dress, which looks great. Uh, for everyone else, you can be the glowing moss full body suit. Hey, hey, that looks great. Uh, right over this way is going to be the glowing moss hood. I'm excited for that one. Uh, right over this way is the Glowing Moss uh, Pointed Cap. Yeah. And the last little accessory that you can wear on your little character is going to be the Glowing Moss Headband. Now, uh, these next rows over here, I won't be able to show you until we do the house tour. So that being said, just to, just pay attention. We've got the Glowing Moss Wreath over here. You guys can see the, what it kind of looks like in the DIY screen over that way. You also have the hanging glowing moss. Remember, we're able to hang things from ceilings now. Next up is going to be the glow in the dark stickers. Ooh, I'm excited to show those to you. Uh, right over this way is the glowing moss flooring. Very fun. And we have three wallpapers this time around. Glowing moss forest wall. We've got the glowing moss ruins wall. Next up, we also have the glowing moss cave wall. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. And we have two rugs, the round glowing moss rug, and then we also have the regular glowing moss rug. Now, those are all of the items that are in the specific set for glowing moss. All of them are craftable and you'll be able to get them if you collect enough glowing moss on there. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pick up every single one of these items and we're going to visit the customization bench and I'm gonna show you some of the very cool customization options for these. Once we're done with that, we'll go into the in-house showcase. All right, so here we are at the crafting table. We're gonna show you the customization options for these so that you get a better understanding of how you're going to utilize these glowing moss items on your island. This is gonna be fun. So you can see over here that the wallpapers obviously are not customizable. Uh, neither are the headbands or the clothing items or the glowing moss hood. So that's kind of unfortunate considering the fact that some of these options are really really well colored and i would have loved it if we can match the clothing options with it but that's okay let's take a look at them one by one all right very first is going to be the wow glow in the dark stickers hands excuse me okay cool you've got glow in the dark stickers that are sea creatures you've got some flowers you've got stars you've got hearts You've got snowflakes, you got dinosaurs. This is amazing. And of course, you got a custom design. What do you mean I could put a glow in the dark sticker on my face somewhere? You better believe I'm gonna put that in the house. That's so fun. All right, <laughs> next up is the hanging glowing moss. Oh, uh, you got green, you got turquoise, blue, red, yellow, pink, white, and gray. Ooh, look at that. These look really amazing. Glowing moss wreath. This is something that you can put on your door. Uh, you've just got the, the same colorations, blue, red, yellow, pink, white, and gray. So I think there's going to be a theme of colorations with all these. Suspicious Cauldron, look at this. It's green. It could be blue. It could be pink. It could be yellow or pearlescent. Wow, that's a word for you. That's a word you don't hear every day. That's great. So I like this. In case you're making a Legend of Zelda kind of theme, you can make some blue potion over here, some green potion. There's no red potion, but pink will do. That's really fun. 
All right, next up is Glowing Moss Balloon. It's gonna be in your basic colors over here. I really do like this color of blue. Honestly, if you were to ask me what's my favorite color in the world, that's my favorite color right there. It's that like very light blue. But anyway, they kind of look like, I don't know, little cotton candy balls. Really good. All right, next up is the cave customization. Whoa, brown cave. You've got the gray cave, black cave, and the mossy cave. Wow, okay, okay, I'm in. Glowing Moss Pond, let's take a look. We've got a turquoise one, you've got a green one, and you've got a purple pond. Whoa, that looks really cool. I'm surprised that it's not in all of the colors that we've seen before, but that's okay. Glowing Moss Statue. Now remember, these all have like eyes that light up. So unless we actually customize them all right here and press A on them, I don't know. So you guys are gonna have to jump in. Black looks awesome. Oh my gosh, and Mossy looks great too. Wow, that's really great. Okay, Glowing Moss Jar Shelves. You got a silver shelf, uh, and it looks like the moss on the inside might be shaded a little differently too, and different colored. Wow, damaged, white, black, and silver. Damaged though, wow. Like an abandoned science lab. Uh, next up over here is going to be a Glowing Moss Jar. You can change the colorations of the Glowing Moss on the inside of it as the colors that we've seen before. Next up is a glowing moss boulder. Again, the same colors that we've seen. I really like that. I like that it's themed. You can do all sorts of them. The gray looks really sleek too. And last but not least is going to be the little puff ball over here, which is the glowing moss stool. So you can fill up your entire room with all sorts of these different colorations. So overall, I love these customization options. I can't wait to see what they all look like. So now that you have some ideas of what kind of color schemes you're going to do, all of you guys with Fairy Core Islands, you guys are gonna go nuts with this stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna head on over to my house and we are going to show you guys the full on room of what it looks like in the basement. Let's do it. Here we go. The big reveal, what you've been waiting for. We're gonna show you what all of these items look like on the inside of your house and the lighting effects are so good with these. Anyway, just sit back, take it all in, get some inspiration, and let's move on. Anyway, you can already see that I'm wearing the very, very cool outfit. I love it. This is the helmet, and this is the uh, the full body suit. But you can see over here, lots of things are available. Yes! Oh my goodness gracious! Let's just let's just soak it all in, yeah. Ah, uh, looks great. There's things on the wall. Look at the different wallpaper. I even made an accent wall. All right, can you guys name everything over here? All right, let's take a look. So the very first thing is this little rug over here. This one's the rug that I couldn't show you in the little showcase. It's just a rectangular rug. So really nothing too special about it, but it matches and you can make multiples of them and kind of make your own little paths. Um, right down this way is going to be another one of the rugs. It's directly over here. That's the circle rug. And you can see the cauldron. Ooh, and as you can see, every time you step, along the flooring here. This is called the glowing moss flooring. Every step that you take is going to be uh, either like a little water splash over here, or it's going to be a step where you're going to be having the little glowing effects over there. Uh, we have our little jar section over here. We got our little cone hat. You got our stool. The cave looks really fun. We've got our little outfit there. You can see on the ceiling that we have the, the full on hanging moss over there. So if you have more than one or the different colors, you can kind of drape them over. Uh, of course, we've seen this before on the outside. That's the big old boulder. Here's our very cool little balloon, our awesome statue. Yeah, glowing. And my favorite item, out of the entire collection is this pond hands down just the lighting effects on there now you'll also see i just threw some stickers on the wall over here so the stickers look kind of cool we'll be able to show you everything once it's done uh once we're dimming the lights and we'll see everything kind of glow a little bit here but in the background you'll also see the cave wall uh that's really from the glowing moss cave wall and then right over here is the glowing moss forest wall yeah so that's what that looks like it looks like a jungle Looks really fun. It's not an animated wall, but it still looks very good. And there's only one more wall that I can show you right now. It's going to be the Glowing Moss Ruins wall. So this one looks like you're in uh, some sort of like ancient ruins. You've got some like structures, you've got some stone aspects of it. I think it looks really, really sharp. So this entire room, so, so fun. All right, that being said, let's turn off the lights and see what everything looks like, shall we? Here we go, lights off. See, my entire like outfit glows in the dark, which is so fun. This looks really great when you're able to press the A button on it. It just glows. 
The cave doesn't glow, unfortunately, but it does have a little bit of glowing aspects on the deep inside of it. Uh, this right over here, you can see that uh, you'll be able to see the fire on the inside of it. That looks really great. All right, the balloon. Here's the lights of the statue. Whoa, very like ancient aliens right over here. Yes, for sure. The, uh, yeah, the little balloon looks great. We've got this over here. Uh, you also have this little stool in case you want to sit down on it. That's great. And then over here, you'll see that there is a, there's a built-in light. So I think this is amazing. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, I absolutely love all of these. Again, my favorite one is this pond right over here. It looks so, so good. So anyway, if you guys have any ideas of what you would do with all of these awesome glowy moss items, I want to hear from you. Let's continue the comments uh, right down below and let's continue it. Let's continue the discussion. Talk to me. What inspiration are you getting from these? I'm just really happy that they introduced a weed that we could just collect and have an entire furniture set based around it. That is so, so fun for me. So anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to share it on social media. That'd be really great. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.